Thank you, Jen. Well, put down your phone. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, at least when you get in the car, we all know this is the first thing you should do when you get into that driver's yes. seat. But using the navigation, calling up a podcast, looking for music can get a little clumsy. Yeah, it can. So th this is our As Seen on TV Tuesday. Amy Davis is testing the fast ball magnetic ball socket phone thing Yeah, it's oh, got wow. a long name, right? <laughs> okay, so we're going to get right to the point because there's a lot of phone markets that you get phone mounts that you can buy on the market right now. I know I've tried several of them, but this one cost me just 10 bucks at Walmart. The fast ball magnetic ball and socket phone mount uses 3M adhesive. The ball attaches to your car's dash. The socket attaches to the back of your phone or phone case. The socket attaches to the back of your phone or phone case. With one click, the ball and socket snap together. And here's the cool part. Your phone on a swivel. You can easily rotate your phone, angle it towards you or away from you, making it easy to use your navigation. Quarter mile, turn left. We drove on Houston's pockmarked bumpy roads and my phone never fell. At just 10 bucks, I think the fastball is a good investment, but before you buy, make sure there's a good flat surface to put the mount in your vehicle. So you gotta make sure it's not covering up an air vent or it's not in the way of your gear shifter. Um, and that was the closest spot that I had but it might not be all that convenient. The placement of my mount has me looking to the right and down to see the screen, not ideal. I shouldn't have put it down there because then I'm having to look too far away from the road. Unfortunately, I don't have another spot on my dash that gets it closer. Maybe you will. All right, so the fastball does come with extra adhesive in case you change vehicles or like me need to move that mount. It says you can just use thread or floss and run it behind the mount to get the sticky adhesive off. Okay. It also says you can use it with tablets, like in your kitchen if you want to use your tablet for recipes mm, or something yeah. and mount it to a cabinet. It works like that. Does it annoy you, the thing on the back, though? I mean, it doesn't bother me, but that's exactly mm -hmm. my husband was like, oh, that's so clunky. It's yeah. annoying, but yeah. Hey. There you go. To each their own. All right. right. <laughs>